Let me do something. I want to play a game with you. Uh, okay. I want to learn more about who is Nina. And we're going to play a game. Of, um, we're going to play a game called This or That. I'm going to give you two choices. You can choose one or the other, but not neither or both. So let's find out what okay. Nina thinks and uh, what Nina believes. We'll start easy. We'll get like a little tougher as we go along and then maybe get thought provoking at the end. Um, let's start with something super easy. How about guided meditation or silent meditation? Silent. Okay. Talk therapy or energy work? Energy work. Okay. Mindfulness or manifestation? Manifestation. Yes. Traditional medicine or alternative healing? Alternative healing. <laughs> okay. Personal experience or scientific evidence? Personal experience. Okay. Now, let's go a little tougher. How about mm, with energy healing, internal or external? Internal. Internal healing. Okay. Yes. Quantum, quantum physics or metaphysics? Quantum. Okay. Prevention or cure? Cure. Okay. Um, now, I think I find that one interesting. Instead of being preventative, um, you look at the uh, the cure instead. Prevention is caused by fear. It's false. Okay. You can't prevent something that's never going to happen. If you think something's going to happen, you already created fear. And um, fear is going to create you. Why would you want to prevent cancer if God made you without cancer? Who created the prevention? It's all made of fear. And it's just to I like sell that. more meds. Okay. It puts money in the pocket of uh, pharmaceutical companies. Prevention. Gotcha. Okay. How about uh, empathy or boundaries? Empathy. Okay. Ego or higher self? Higher self. Okay. Certainty in science or faith in the unknown? Faith in the unknown. Really? Um, Absolutely. It, I guess that would go back to what you were saying a second ago about what's been created already. Why would you create these things that are bad for you? Correct. Okay. You, I, I, I love that you have this this focus. You are lasered focused on creating your own universe. Unlimited. My other business name is Energy Work Unlimited. Uh -huh. I'm just getting it going. It's all about us being unlimited. The only constructs we have, the only boundaries they have, the only borders we have, the only boxes we have are the ones that we created by listening to others okay. and listening to the fears. Our fears are only based on what we hear. Of course, some things that happened to us in the past lives. Okay. But mainly if the TV and the radio and the, and the commercials for insurance and medications and prevention, if they weren't there, we wouldn't even worry about anything happening. So stop listening. Okay. So I, I already, I think I already know how you're going to answer this. Karma or free will? Free will. Gotcha. That's what I, that was my, Hundred dollar bet right there. Physical reality <laughs> or conscious reality? Conscious reality. Nature or nurture? I can't say neither, right? Mm -mm. <laughs> um, okay. You can explain what you choose, though. Nature or nurture? Nature. Okay. Why did you choose that one? Because we naturally created a certain way. So whether you're nurtured or not, you can choose the way you want to be. Okay. How about healing as an art or as a science? A science. Science. Okay. Individual consciousness or collective consciousness? Individual consciousness. Okay. Because we create our own reality. Yes. And I, are people living in their own created reality right now or are they living in a collective consciousness reality right now? If you're going to take a group of people on earth, we li living in a collective consciousness reality as a group. What happens in politics, what happens with weather even, or what happens with global warming. This is all our collective consciousness creating this. But everybody is also living in their own, everybody's running their own little program, little operate, we have operating systems. So we have our own your purpose, your journey is yours. So that that right there, how do you change if we're living in a world with all these consciousnesses, right? I guess that's a word. Um, and I've got my own and you've got your own and they've got their own. Do we need them to all 
meld together or how do we make the world a better place? The more people know how to love themselves, the more people, it's only the intent of your daily life. What do you do during the day? See, if you truly love yourself, what Mm -hmm. you want to do, you want to share it with others. You want to give to others because you have so much of it. So when you have that, if your intent is to give from self-love, you we're gonna we create an amazing reality. Those okay. who just want to take, 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 they wake up in the morning. Okay, what can I take today? What can I take today? I don't have enough. That's definitely not self-love. Okay, that's like more like self-hate. I never have enough. Okay. They create different reality, a bad reality, if you want to call it. So what's happening now, we have a more of those who are waking up to the consciousness of love. God is love. God equals love, basically. Okay. Since we made right. it to first, dim- fifth dimension, it has already gotten us to this uh, place where um, our multiple consciousness of over consciousness of overall of people who are givers, who want love, who want better earth. That's what got us there. It, it okay. didn't wasn't the ones who just wanted to take, take, and take. Gotcha. I, I tried to make it as simple as I can, I think. Yeah, we'll, we'll put people in touch with you so they can ask questions. But like, <laughs> I got two more for you. Acceptance or transformation? Acceptance. Okay. Now, how explain that. My, my, my bet was on transformation, but why acceptance instead? Because you can't have transformation without acceptance. Okay. You okay. have to accept something first before you can transform it. Uh, that makes sense. Gotcha. Yeah. How about last one? Linear time or eternal now? Eternal now. Okay. Um, even with, because we talked about past lives before, but are those I, I past lives happening at the same time? Or how does that work if you, if you look at eternal now? They are... Happening at the same time as now, but they also in the past because we're on earth. We, there's only time is only on earth. Um, I've noticed when I work with my guides or even I work with other beings, you know, mm-hmm. I, I've been working with other beings than just, you know, most people know about some actually evil beings trying to make, turn them to God, which has been working tremendously. I don't want to get into this right now, but um, I've been realizing that if I am doing something here, my conversation with them is here in the now. And then I have to go to work, work on my clients in the spa. And then I have some other clients that I work uh, energetically on. And then I come back to that conversation in the evening. For them, there's no time passed. Mm-hmm. I can't pick up at the same spot as I started. I don't quite understand this with my brain because I still have a human brain how that works, but I know that that's for a fact, that's how it works, that you can jump. Well, I've learned in this life, even though I'm in a human body, I've learned that I can jump in the past. Like I can go 300 lives back and change something there. I remove, that's what I do. I remove the original events from three, 400 lives back and it changes in the present. I, I think that is fascinating. We're going to have to have another conversation about that. I wonder if, um, and we'll talk about this later. I'm, we'd, I'd love to just have a session and we talk with somebody and either look at their past lives and change something in now or uh, something along those lines. We'll get into that next time you and I talk. We'll do that. Okay. Um, I want people to stay in touch with you for sure. Um, we've got your website right now. We've got advancedrapidhealing.com. You also mentioned you had another website. Yes, Energy Work Unlimited. Energy Work Unlimited. Dot com. Okay, dot com. So advanced rapid healing dot com and energy work unlimited dot com. And so that also, one is under construction right now. Energy work unlimited. I'm changing it. So you'll probably get it the same one if you go to both. Okay. There you go. We'll also find you on Facebook and on Instagram at Advanced Rapid Healing. Uh, so either one of those three ways, any one of those three ways, will get you in touch with Nina. I prefer a phone call. A phone call? Do you want to throw out a phone number? Yes, it's 561-654-0177. Excellent. We'll have people get in touch with you that way. Thank you so much for being on the show. It's been 
absolutely fabulous having you on A Funny Way of Looking. Everyone watching and listening, you can find us at afunnywayoflooking.com. We're also on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube. They're all at A Funny Way of Looking. And be sure to uh, hit us up on the website, look at our new newsletter. Nina's going to be in it because we're going to do a cool article about her and about her work. Uh, we'll see that probably, I think, in a week from now. We should probably see the first article about her. So thank you very much for tuning in, and uh, we'll catch you all later. Thank you very much. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.